Um, very well. I think we, we had a few niggles over the winter and approaching the Schlock Neil game, but um, we managed to get them right. In particular, I think Dahi and Peter, and also obviously Shane Dowling as well, but they've all pulled through that. And on a personal note, I'm back into full contact training as well. So all the boxes are ticked from that point of view for us now. It's just a matter of looking forward to the big day. Shane really re-announced himself, didn't he, in that, uh, that semi-final of the he, game? He really did. In fairness, for someone who'd been absent from uh, high-level hurling or you know even competitive contact hurling for a long time, he demonstrated his class, which we know he has in abundance. Um, and on top of that, I suppose he scored one of the best goals I've, I've ever seen live on a hurling pitch. So, yeah, no fear of him. And I suppose that, that's what encapsulates what you do. Uh, all of you guys have come up from underage level together, pretty much. You have soldiered together. You've played up through all the grades. Uh, and now here you are again, second time in three years in an All-Ireland final. Um, what does that mean to the community, Adrian? I think I'd like to think it, it brings a huge sense of pride to the community. Um, the like uh, it's 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 a large catchment area, but in reality, if you look at this team, you know you have brothers, you have cousins, uh, so it's very tight knit in itself. And uh, I think just the way we play, we represent our families and friends, and it's more it's more than just the players. You know, we like to think we represent the wider community, and I'd like to think they're proud of us of us and what we're achieving. So hopefully, we can continue to do that and give them a performance they can be proud of again on the day. How do you manage to shut out a lot of the uh, peripheral stuff that's going to happen over the next couple of weeks? You know, every time you drive down the road, there's flags up, there's people talking. Everywhere you go, I'm sure people are asking you questions. Mm. How do you cope with that? Um, that's something that really comes with experience, I suppose. Uh, initially if you were to go back to maybe the first county final that a lot of the lads in this team have played in um, a lot of nerves accompany it and you tend to nearly play the occasion however I think over the years we've been fortunate enough to find ourselves in big games and banking on that experience they've you know they've been successful days for us on, um, for the most part so we're able to draw on that and really just play the match focus on your own game, just get inside your, your own um, clear mind space and deliver from there.